All right, welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I am Greg from DearBlogger.org, and I want to show you quickly today how to use CSS on a WordPress Blogger website to edit certain features that are pretty common to all of our blogs and websites. This here is a website made with the responsive theme by CyberChimps, and it was made in another YouTube video of mine, and then I got enough questions from people on how to edit things like the headers, and the background colors and stuff like that that a video just made sense. So again we're going to be editing the CSS that stands for Cascading Style Sheets as you might know and as usual there's a few ways to get the job done a few techniques to edit CSS but we'll only be using the best practices as someone who now does this for a living you had better believe I'm going to do it the best and cleanest method possible. So without further ado why don't we jump in. First step is going to be to right click anywhere on your website and go down to this little inspect element button that you might have seen before. Now this is a bit confusing at first but uh, bear with me, um, I'm going to walk you through finding the right parts of your website um, like a, a header like this and then editing it and uh, you'll see that it all makes clear sense soon. So this basically lays out all the code behind our website. Um, some, of it, some of it we wrote, some of it we didn't write, a lot of which the theme developer wrote. Um, and you have the HTML over here in this elements tab. And then you have the styling over here on the right. And we can give that a little more room. So that's just a very basic layout um, on what we're looking at. What we want to do is use these little arrows to find the right section. And uh, the neat thing is, whatever we see in here is exactly what the browser sees. So we can really pinpoint a section and then exactly edit that section. A uh, really important section is called the container. Uh, most WordPress themes will have this. So let's open up our container. We can see when we hover over a section everything inside of it shows up highlighted so body would be really pretty much everything in blue uh, container is a little bit more limited you can see the blue kinda condenses a bit and then as we go down different items like the header, header will highlight or the wrapper and right now we want to go inside the wrapper so let's look a little deeper and uh, I'm trying to find this this text right here alright perfect so here we can see the CSS and HTML and then the exact words themselves so what we want to do now that we've found it, it's just click it and highlight it. And then on the right, we can see that this part, dot featured title, matches up with this part, which is class featured title. So in general, when there's a class in the HTML, it's written out as class, you'll see a period sign over here. If it is a ID, then you'll see a pound sign over here and these words will match up so you have featured 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 title featured title so the first cool thing is going to be just to uncheck uh, some elements of the style and we can see that our website will change right away so if we get rid of the font size it will get smaller if we eliminate the margin the spacing will change and uh, the text align would keep it centered. So this is a good way to see what's going on and how different features change your website. It's not a good way to actually make permanent changes because users won't see this. If you did that, a user off in uh, web world won't see that. Um, just you will. So we want to make permanent changes so that your readers will um, experience the site just how you want it to be. The most important thing now is that we know this class is featured title, which is perfect. So all these little styles are applied to the featured title. 
and if we want to see them completely we can click over here which opens up our CSS style sheet and we can see this much is affecting this section right here these three words your dream website is being styled by these components so it's time to make some changes and I want to go right to my dashboard alright once we do that we want to go to appearance and theme options now most themes these days will have what's called a quick CSS or a custom CSS or just a CSS styles box uh, you want to find that section because that's where the most effective edits are going to be made to your your website if you don't have something like this then it is perfectly okay to make edits in the actual style sheet which is what comes up first when you go to appearance editor so you don't actually want to make any changes to this file you want to leave it intact but the same things we're going to write in that other section you can just write at the bottom of this file if need be now another alternative you might have heard of would be to create a child theme that is a little bit more old-fashioned and I don't recommend that anymore just because as WordPress themes get more complicated you are going to experience some some conflicts if you try to overwrite a current theme with a child theme so using this option lets you really pull in all the benefits of your current theme and only make the edits you want and thankfully if you mess up you can just delete everything and go back to normal so let's remember our little CSS um, selector called Featured Title and let's write that in right here. Alright, now whatever we put in here is going to overwrite what we have in here. So let's get to it and uh, I already know a little bit of CSS so I'll just try to, um, you know, just go right ahead with it and just show you how things will work. Alright, so that's just three things that we changed and if I save it, let's see if they work. Um, we have the color, the font size, and the font family. And we'll have to refresh the site. Uh, unfortunately, this will probably go away when we refresh, but um, you could always stop the video and uh, we, we went ahead and found it early on, so that's all pretty simple. Alright, so there we have the changes we just made. Um, we have full control as you can see over this section the featured title by pulling in the CSS selector dot featured title that we found here and then putting it right in our right in our CSS styles box so pretty cool I think that's pretty powerful um, that is a technique that can actually be used to uh, modify any section of text on your website so you uh, now are now a little more powerful and uh, you know use it wisely so I got some questions on background color so let's do that one next alright so this is gonna be a little bit different approach but we're gonna start the same with going to our elements and finding out what's going on on the site so uh, the body is sort of the overarching um, you know mega class up here and then within that we have container so why don't we see what kind of style we have on body just by clicking it and we can see that this is the style on the body so using our first method of unchecking we can actually change the background color right from here and again this is the best practice way of doing it because it's completely harmless and exactly how Google or WordPress would have intended us to do it and you know you can just really um, pretty much have fun um, these styles are applied to the body so they are affecting uh, everything within the body which is as you can see this whole big area uh, everything highlighted in the blue so if we change the styles it's going to affect everything from the navigation to you know this text to this text I think and maybe even this text at the bottom um, 
So pretty powerful stuff. Um, you know, Font Family is a humongous uh, style on your website in general. Font size is also tremendous. Um, line height, maybe a little bit less important. Um, but yeah, there's the background color. So if we just pull in that really simple body selector and use the um, background selector, then we can do something like uh, maybe green would be cool. You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it'll look. And then we'll save options. And then when we come back to our site and we're going to want to hit refresh and uh, see that the whole site is now uh, nice green and we even have kind of a Christmas theme going. Um, so if, if you're into that, that's pretty cool. All right, that's cool. Um, you are now even more powerful. All right, cool. So another question I had was how to change the header size, um, which is another really important aspect of the blog, depending on how much stuff you're inserting in up here. And uh, let's do that right now. So same process. We have to figure out exactly what's going on. And it looks like our header is consisting of a logo and a top widget and a main nav. So that's pretty cool. If we take the logo and uh, go with this pound sign logo and put that in our Our CSS styles we can we can play around a little more so I'm gonna write in hashtag logo and then I'll change the height to maybe 200 pixels and I'm just gonna do that and save options now I'm gonna inspect the changes by refreshing and we can see that the space for the logo is now even bigger we get this extra little room right here if we wanted to add maybe a tagline or some sort of other contact information like a phone number or maybe a search bar or something like that. So that's pretty cool. That's now changed as well. And none of this is really going to go back to normal until you erase this stuff right here, which we actually will in one second. Now the last thing I know that people are going to ask me is how to change this portion right here, the navigation portion. Now you might want to change the font or the color. I um, One of the things I like changing is the color and the background color. Now that is a little bit more complex but let me walk you through it and then I'll leave you with that uh, to play around with um, in the future. So same process again. Let's find the navigation right here in main nav and click it and then I'm gonna dive in further and it looks like there's a responsive menu that would only show up when we're on mobile and then a main menu which is what we want right here so this is where the fun goes on for the menu and each one of these little li is gonna be a different item in the menu so you can see as I click down and hover it pulls up different items in our menu. So that's how that works. Uh, li just means list item and a menu is generally made of uh, list items sort of floated uh, side by side left like this or it could be right either way. But to make the real edits we want to pull up the CSS style. So highlight right here and then go over to style.css and click it and we'll see that we have our menu and that's not the menu we wanted so this one actually and then this style and what do we got all right so the interesting thing about a menu is that it usually consists of a static state and a hover state um, and I'm gonna stop there because the best option here is gonna be actually to contact your theme developer
and ask them exactly what's going on in the menu and what to change because as you can see just for this dot menu selector there's a lot going on and if you're feeling bold you can definitely make some changes right away but you really want to contact the person who made your theme or maybe you have a forum and by doing that you can really figure out what to edit efficiently to change how your menu will look or better yet you could try to make a custom menu on your own and that way you can just decide how all the colors and styles look just from scratch so that's that and uh, before we finish I should probably bring our theme back to normal so I'm just gonna take the work we did and delete it and then click save options and then refresh and there we go back to normal so guys you now are a lot more powerful with your WordPress themes you can use this inspect element along with your hopefully your custom CSS area on your theme to change anything you want and uh, I hope you enjoy it remember that dress code is observed on a website and people will judge any change you make so make sure that it doesn't look like crap alright thanks for watching guys it would be great if you posted a comment with any questions and even hit that like button if you learned something right here and thanks again I'll talk to you soon